Okay, so you may have heard of Predator Sense. It's Predator's answer to an inbuilt control hub for your gaming PCs and laptops to give you full control over your gaming experience. But do you know about its hidden features? Okay, so maybe you just got here and maybe you don't know what the Predator Sense app is, never mind its hidden features. So let's start at the beginning because I feel like that's a good place to start. <laughs> Predator Sense is a nifty little program that's accessible on Predator devices, so the gaming PCs and laptops, and it even has its own jazzy little button that's found on the laptops here, right at the side of the keyboard. So all you have to do is press the little Predator logo, boop, and we're in. So the first tab it takes you to is the home page, and this is where you can check on the system in general. You can monitor things like the temperature, the fan speed, and if there's any overclocking going on. But we'll go into these more in detail later. The next tab is lighting and you you can really have some fun and really waste some time with this so <laughs> at the moment i have static lighting going on which is a static color that stays the same on your keyboard technically i have three static colors going on i have blue blue and purpley blue <laughs> or you can pick dynamic and this gives you a dynamic light show which you can customize to your heart's content you can have all these crazy lightings going on you can have like a mexican wave you can have like a rainbow spiral effects and once you have successfully given yourself a headache, then we can move on. Okay, so the next two tabs we're gonna be going to are probably the most important ones you will use in the Predator Sense app, and this is overclocking and fan speed. So if we go to overclocking, this is where I can overclock my GPU. So in terms of clock speed, we have three different settings. We have normal, or we can overclock it, which goes to either fast or extreme. This works by increasing the design clock speed of my GPU. So it sets a higher limit to what my max speed can be which in turn can give me more frames per second in my game. The next tab we can go to is the fan control. Again, there's three different settings for this. There is auto, there is max, and there is custom. And it shows me my CPU, my fan, and my second fan here, the fan speeds of that going on. To be honest, I usually just keep it on auto, but then I keep the core boost on, which increases the max fan speed during intense workloads, like gaming. But if I really need it on a max speed, I can increase it to that max speed. The sound of it does go up, but you're gonna have headphones in, so it's not really gonna to make too much difference. So over in monitoring, you can monitor things like the GPU and CPU temperature over time, the RAM usage, Wi-Fi speeds, that sort of thing. Over in game sync, this is where things really get fun because you can add games in and specify what settings you'd like for that game. Whether you want overclocking, whether you want a different fan speed, what lighting and music profiles you want, and it will save it for the game. So the next time you launch that game, you won't have to faff around in settings, it will already be done. You can add as many different games with as many different settings as you want, I think. I've not actually done it yet because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, so now you know everything about the Predator Sense app, I can officially show you where the super secret, sneaky, hidden features are. They're not that hidden. They're right here, right in the top right corner. <laughs> so the first one, going from the right, let's have a look at them. First one you find is this one with the gears icon. This shows you the advanced settings. So you can change here whether you want the whole animation, the Predator animation when the system boots up. I will always keep that on. That is one of the best things about this device. I will always have that. Actually, the only thing I've really changed here is having the backlight not turn off after 30 seconds because I like my RGB lighting and I want to keep it that way all the time. <laughs> so the next icon you will see in the top right corner is the waves icon and this is the Acer True Harmony settings and this is where you can control the music profile for your device. I usually just keep it for game in general and then sometimes I, I sometimes change between movies and music as well but game in general I really like and it really is the nicest for gaming I find so I keep it at that. The next icon is the mobile phone icon. And that's where things really get interesting because you can pair your mobile phone with your laptop through Predator Sense. So all you need to do is download the Predator Sense app on your mobile, iOS and Android, it's all available. And then you can sync it through your laptop with a QR code. Now, why is this, why is this so important? Why is this the best thing ever? Well, because say you're in your game and you wanna overclock, you wanna check your temperatures, you wanna change your fan speed, and chances are, if you're mid-game, you're not gonna to wanna to do that in the middle of a game. You can't do that in the middle of a game. So now all you have to do is keep your phone by your side and you have this. You have this basically, this like mini little control hub, which is actually not that mini. It basically has everything you see on the Predator Sense actual app. And you, with the click of a button, you can just, boop, <laughs> change the fan speed. So that is something that's pretty special. That's probably, that's probably my favorite part of this whole, of this whole Predator Sense app. So, yeah, Predator Sense mobile app. Who would have thought? I would have never thought it'd be this useful to me. Okay, so that is all from me, the Predator Sense app, and Predator Sense's hidden little features. Let me know what you think down below. If you use the Predator Sense app and what's your favorite part, and let me know if you knew about the mobile app. And if you do, if you use it, tell me, tell me everything. <laughs> tell me where I can ignore that, that's weird. 
Okay, so that is all for me, the Prior Descents app and the Prior Descents' hidden features. So let me know what you think down below. Have you used the Prior Descents app? What's your favorite part of it? And let me know if you knew about the mobile app because I didn't for the longest time and then I did and it has it really changed some things up. N not that many things, I'm still pretty bad at every game I play, but it is very useful to me. <laughs> let me know what you think down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.